Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And today, I'm gonna get right into it, you all, because now that the harvest for the spring and summer garden is 99% done, <laughs> I still could go out there and harvest um, hmm, the last remaining eggplant, um, the last remaining jalapeno and bell peppers, and um, a few heads of sunflowers as well that I can go ahead and get out of the garden and the burgerkins, of course. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, like we still got to get the sweet potatoes out of the garden too. It's time, right? But after the spring and summer gardens, you all, what comes next is the seed saving process, right? Because you don't wanna grow all of that fantastic food and then just eat it all or give it all away or whatever, and you don't save the seed for the next season. So, I've already been saving these seeds, okay? And this is the last eggplant right here that I have that's a decent size. I had some that was way bigger, but this one is a decent size as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to save the seed from these eggplant. And I'm not gonna say like, this is the like exact way to do it. I've been saving the seed from the Kushaw as well. <laughs> Sit that to the set. So, but I'm gonna show you all how I pretty much do it. And the way that I save seeds is pretty much the same, like for everything with some exceptions, but we're just gonna focus only on the eggplant today and I'm gonna show you what I do, all right? So, let me grab me a knife here and hopefully you can see. What I have here is an empty jar, another jar with some water, a spoon, my eggplant, my knife and cutting board, all right? So I'm just gonna take off the top. My knife needs to be sharpened. <clears throat> just gonna take off the top. Now, there are multiple ways that you can save seed from eggplant, all right? Everybody got a different way to do it. Mrs. H is just showing you the way she do it because I find that it's easier for me, all right? So all I'm gonna do now is, let me slice off the bottom here because I'm not throwing this eggplant away. This eggplant, actually, I'm getting ready to cook it. Yes, it's seedy, <laughs> but I'm getting ready to cook it still, all right? And then all I'm gonna do is go down and cut about one inch or a half inch slices, just like so. And this eggplant is a Black Beauty eggplant, all right? When you're saving seed from your vegetables, you wanna save seed that is either heirloom or open pollinated seed varieties, all right? You don't wanna save seed from a hybrid. Now, I did grow some uh, mammoth jalapeno peppers and I do have a really big red one, two of them or three or four of them actually, that I'm saving the seed from. But it's a hybrid, <laughs> I know, right? I know it's a hybrid. The seed is not stable, right? More than likely you plant that seed you will not get true seed the following year. That plant is a combination of plants, either two or three or so, and they breed those different plants in order to get to a desired result, which in this case was the mammoth jalapeno. But I'm gonna try my best to stabilize that seed because I love that pepper. So I took the largest, of what we had from the jalapeno. And I'm saving those seeds. And I am gonna start those seeds. Actually, I've already started some. And I'm gonna try to get them to grow enough to overwinter and then hopefully pull them out next spring and, um, and just see what peppers we get. And hopefully if we get some really big peppers that are spicy, and that same size that I'm looking for, 
I'll then take that seed and save that seed and then repeat the process. The goal is to stabilize the seed. Now, is that worth it? To me, it is because it is a hybrid, right? So if I can stabilize that seed so that in the future I can get true to seed and we can continue to, and I'm gonna, if, if, I'm, if we are successful, <laughs> I will let you know. But that's just one of the experiments that I do behind the scenes here. And I just wanna know like, can I get what I want from this if I'm, or can I even stabilize this seed? But anyway, that's a story for a different day. <laughs> but in any case, you all, I have all of my eggplant here. Let me just take these and sit all of these to the side for right now. I'm gonna show you what I do. Because we got all these vegetables in the house. Of course, some nets then came along with them, so I'm having to cover up this. But I'm gonna bring y'all a little bit closer so you all, you all can see. I really don't wanna edit this video, so forgive me. Come on over here. <laughs> all right, so I want you all to see what I am about to do here. Now you can see these seeds. And again, this is just the way that I'm doing it. You don't have to do it this way, but I'm literally just gonna take my spoon and scrape where I see the seeds. I'm gonna try to get down in there real good and just scrape where I see the seeds. And yes, you might get a little bit of flesh, but you won't get much, right? See that? And then I just put them in that jar. So now I'm just scraping to try to get as many seeds out as I can. I'm not trying to get them. I'm not trying to get like every single seed that's in this eggplant. If you want to do that, you can. But I'm really just trying to pull out as many of these seeds as I possibly can. And I've already been doing this, you all. So I, I have quite a few of these Black Beauty eggplant seeds. And I'm just putting it all in a jar. It's okay that some of the flesh is getting in there too. That's perfectly fine. But I'm just trying to get the majority of the seeds out. And it is a lot of seeds. I mean, it's a lot of seed. And even on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just try to get the seeds out, as many of them as I can. I mean, it's literally like, it's a lot of seeds just in that one little piece. And it's still more of them in there. <laughs> it's still more of them in there, right? too many on that all right so now I'm gonna show you that's just from that one little one little slice there and there's still more seed in there but I'm just not trying to get it all I'm just getting as many as I can from this particular slice and then I'm gonna just move on to my next slice. Put that down in the bowl. See that? And I'm just grabbing it and just scraping out the seeds. And the reason why I'm just doing this one is because I want you to see, I'm not gonna show all that I do, but I want you to see from one eggplant just how many seeds you can get. See, from, we planted one of those, just one. And from one of these, we're getting this and more. So I want you all to see how important it is to save your seeds. Especially again, if they're heirloom or open pollinated, this is all a part of that process when you're gardening. Don't just eat everything. Put these, you know, go ahead and, and save the seed. And remember I, I talked to you all about that book, 
uh, seed to seed that kind of guides you into saving your own seeds, right? So that book, Seed to Seed, I think is a great investment and I will link that book in the description below. Look at all these seeds, they're just floating around here. Like, don't forget about me, don't forget about me, take me too. <laughs> so, grabbing as many as I can and I'm gonna drop those in the jar and just move on to the next one. Look at that. It's a lot of seed. So from this slice, I'm not gonna put them in the jar yet. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put them on this cutting board so that you can see what I mean when I say you get a lot. And this is just me slicing it about a half an inch thick. That's the beauty about eggplant is that you get a ton of seeds from the one. <laughs> and I do mean a ton of them just from one slice of eggplant. I mean, I'm. Y'all, I don't know what else to say. You should be saving your seeds. You should be saving your seeds when you get them. And you should not ever have to buy seeds again for yourself if you properly save and store them, okay? Now, if you're going to be growing these over the next few years you don't have to store them in no special kind of way you just make sure you keep them i like to say out of the light so if you got a little storage box or something like that then i would say put them inside the little storage box or uh, some people have the little um, boxes the little picture boxes and I even have one as well, and I'll probably put that down in the description too. So if you want it, that could be an option for you too when it comes to you saving your seeds, okay? But you just wanna put them somewhere where they're just not always exposed to a lot of light. And you definitely don't want them exposed to a lot of moisture, okay? All right, so now that's one. And I'm just going to pick these seeds up. I'm going to move this out of the way. Pick these seeds up and I'm going to show you just what you got here. Man, and I'm not going to even try to get them all on here. <laughs> so, this is from one slice, okay? See all those seeds? That's just from that little half inch slice right there. It has a little bit of pulp in it, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you how we get rid of that pulp here in just a second. So I really don't wanna edit this video. So y'all work with me here. My knife just ain't sharp, y'all. All I'm being careful. I can hear somebody now. Be careful with that knife. I'm being careful. <laughs> So I'm just gonna rake out these few seeds here. Oh, that's more than a few. They were hidden. They were hiding in the cracks and crevices. It's like a, it's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> Trying to get these seeds out of here. I know somebody always says, hey, I do it this way and there's an easier way or maybe it's not. I don't know, but, you know, I guess I just don't mind it. I'm going to take the rest of these out. I only have these three left. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all out, cover them up. And I know this has a lot of seeds in it. I can look at it and I can literally see the seeds underneath the flesh area here. It's a lot of them in here. They're all down in here. 
That's why I just like to use a spoon and scoop them out. I use a spoon and just rake them out. I'm not gonna try to sit and peel the flesh back off of all of these. I'm gonna show you why in just a second. I'm gonna show you why I don't do that. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over and just start on this side and get the ones that's closest to this side out. That's a lot of seeds, you all. So once the harvest is done, make sure you're putting something back to save the seeds. And if you're gonna do an eggplant, make sure you allow that eggplant to sit on that vine or sit on that plant for a little while longer than you should, okay? And that's just to make sure that the seeds get nice and developed. You know, you want the eggplant to be pretty ripe. All right, let's get these out. Just look at that. And actually, this one isn't as seedy as some of the others <laughs> that I've had. It still got a lot of seeds, but I've had some that had so many seeds in it that by the time I finished with it, well, I tell you, it wasn't that I could do, but uh, give it to the chickens because I had tore it up so bad. But yeah, and I have, you know, my sink still has eggplant in it, but they're too small to collect the seeds from. And then also, you know, you want to make sure you choose a nice size eggplant. You don't want it to just be, you know, an eggplant. It might be ready to eat, but if it's really small, um, you know, you don't want the seeds from that one. You want to choose the best eggplant that you have, you know, the largest the most beautiful, <laughs> you just want the most beautiful that you have and you'll use that to collect your seed from. See, I haven't even gotten down in that to get all of those seeds. I've only taken out the top layer. So I'm gonna try to go underneath that and pull those seeds out. And I don't do this to all of my eggplant. <laughs> I just do this to the ones that I'm taking my seed from, okay? Yeah, and it's and you still can eat this, you know, you don't have to get rid of it, you can still eat this, but just taking the seeds out. And then this is the last piece right here. And this is the end piece, so it might not have that many seeds in it. Plus, this gives me a reason to sit down for a second. How about that? <laughs> so now I can sit down and do, do this part. Yay, I'm still working. But, all right, I still have a few seeds stuck to the back of my spoon. I'm gonna get all of these off of here. Yep, I want them. I want these seeds. How many seeds is that? three six nine that's ten seeds right there <laughs> i am i'm gonna take them too all right get those off the bed for the spoon all right so now let me just sit this mess to the side look at all my little seeds right here okay They're everywhere. <laughs> all right, so come on, let me show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do you all is just pour a little bit of water in here. And then I put me a lid on, just like so. And then I just shake this vigorously.
See what I get? Just shake it vigorously. Okay, now you got a pulpy mess in here, right? Which is fine. I'm just gonna take this other jar. Since I'm not at my sink. And I'm just gonna pour this off. It's, you know, I'm gonna be very careful not to try to get rid of my seeds because my seeds should be sitting at the bottom of this jar or close to the back of this jar. And they are. But you got this foamy mess here so it makes it hard to see. So I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna add more water to this jar. And this is just the way I do it. I'm gonna shake this up again. I call this washing my seeds. This is the way I wash my seeds, okay? Now you can begin to see now how the pulp is rising to the top. And all of my seeds are sitting right down here at the bottom, okay? So I don't have a jar big enough to pull this off. <laughs> oh boy, that's okay. Let me see what I could do. Let me see what I could do. I got more seeds in this jar here, but I'm a, I need to borrow this jar. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just pour off all of the excess, the foam and the pulp and all of that it should all come right off and if you're looking you don't see seeds falling you see pulp going away all right i did see a few seeds going in but they went straight to the bottom i'll get those in a second i'm gonna add some more water actually i really need to fill this up with water and i'm gonna give it a shake around again Okay, be right back. I forgot something, y'all. Mm -hmm. Forgot something. towel here. Now this is my, I'm going to drain this off. Hopefully I can drain it all off with just this jar. And this one. I'm just looking at all of that pulp that's fallen in and my seeds are still sitting at the back of the jar. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, one more time, this time I'm gonna put a lot of water in here, okay? Now I got a lot of water in there. And the reason why I didn't put so much water in the first time is because I really wanted this water to agitate the seeds to clean the pulp. And that's it. My seeds are clean, they have been washed. And now, move that out of the way. I'm gonna drain off this water. You see my seeds at the bottom? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all can't even see. You see my seeds at the bottom? They're clean, okay, no pulp. They're all clean now. I'm gonna drain off the majority of this water first. And once I get all the water out, I'm just gonna take me my little strainer here 
put my paper towel there. Then I'm going to pour, and you can use a coffee filter if you need to. So I'm just going to pour my seeds right on over in there. And that's all of them except like I got 10 of them in the jar. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm just allowing this water to drain. Paper towel, coffee filter, whatever you have, it works, okay? Move those around a bit. Make sure I get all that water out. Hopefully you all can see. I'm just moving them around. Okay. Now that I have my water drained off of all of those, this is what I'm left with right here. My clean seed. I'm gonna grab a couple of more of these paper napkins. Excuse me a second. I'm gonna grab a paper plate. Sit that there. I'm gonna take my paper napkins and just put those on the plate here. Slide that off just like so. Use my spoon to kind of spread them around because I want them to be as flat as possible because I want them to dry out rather quickly and they will, okay? Now, and that's what I'm left with. All of those came from one eggplant, you all. Mm-hmm, yeah. So now let me raise you back up. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, so you all, there we go. All right, so now I just wanted you all to see, let me have the bright light. I just wanted you all to see just how easy it is to save your own seed. This is done for demonstration purposes. It's taken me about what, 20 minutes to show you this. But really and truly, I could have had this done in like 10 minutes, right? So it don't take long. So I have like, they're probably in my laundry room, but I have several plates of these. Yeah. <laughs> and so this is basically how I save my eggplant seed. Like I said, I smooth them out because I just kind of want like a little single layer here. And then I'll just sit them in a place so that they can dry. And for me, that's going to be in my laundry room. Now, with the rest of this, mm, there's no seeds in the bottom of that. But And I probably got like 20 or 30 seeds in the bottom of here. And I can go through and just pour that off and strain it out and get the rest of those little seeds if I want to, right? It's really not a big deal if you got enough, all right? If not, and you want every last seed, if you want every last seed, <laughs> then go right ahead, okay? But I'm good. I'm just going to toss this and um, sit this out to dry. Oh, almost forgot. And then what I do is with my Sharpie, I'm just going to write on my plate here, B, B, and then eggplant, okay? And that's letting me know I got Black Beauty eggplant on this tray because I'll forget what this is, what kind it is, because I, I do have other seeds in there as well. And sometimes when you're saving seed, if you don't know what, what they look like, then a seed can just look like another seed. <laughs> all right, so I hope this helps you all with um, me showing you how I save my eggplant seed. It's really not that difficult. It's very easy to do. It doesn't take that much time, all right? So from that one eggplant, you all, I have this one plate right here is several years of seeds right here. I have enough eggplant seed to share. And actually I have so many, <laughs> 
so many that I definitely can be sharing these, right? So, yeah, do that. It works. <laughs> all right, y'all, that's going to do it. I just wanted to share with you all this little video on how I am saving my eggplant seed. I am still in the seed saving process right now. And so once I put these away, I will show you um, what I'm doing next. If I'm going to be doing, whether it be peppers or kushaw or whatever the seed is I'm saving, I'll show you that as well, okay? Because I do want everyone to start learning how to save your own seeds. Remember, they need to be heirloom or open pollinated seeds, all right? Unless you are into experimenting with things like me and you want to try to stabilize a hybrid, go right ahead. <laughs> that just kind of makes gardening fun too, right? To see what you're going to get. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos we upload to our channel. Thank you so much again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings and save your seeds. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.